Age difference. In a group of seven persons, each person is asked to write the sum of the ages of all the other six persons. If all the seven sums are from the six element set 60, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, find the difference between the ages of the oldest person and the youngest person. The tricky question, I'm going to assume the ages are a1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7. Wonderful. If all the seven sums are from this set, what do you mean by seven sums? Each person is asked to write the sum of the ages of all other six persons. So A1 will write A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus A5 plus A6 plus A7. Let's say this is equal to 60. A2 will say A1 plus A3 plus A4 plus A5 plus A6 plus A7. This is 58 and so on. Now, if all the seven sums are from the six element set, this is brilliant. The seven sums are from the six element set. There are seven sums because leaving out A1, there are six numbers to add. Leaving out A2, there are six numbers to add. Leaving out A3, there are six numbers to add. Leaving out A4, there are six numbers to add. So, seven possible sums are possible, but they are from a six element set. That means one of these numbers repeats. And wonderful. So, brilliant. So, one of these numbers appears twice over. That's why seven numbers are coming from a six element subset. So, we need to find out the difference between the oldest person and the youngest person, assuming them to be whole number of years. And brilliant question. I'm going to construct this all over again. So, we have leave out A1, we have A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7. Leave out A2, we'll have A1, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7. Leave out A3, we'll have these. Leave out A4, we'll have leaving this out. And then we leave this out, we leave this out, we leave this out. We've left out A3, left out A4, left out. Oh no, brilliant. Now this is a symmetric set of equations. Everything appears a symmetric number of times and an identical number of times. In all of these, if you add all of this, that's usually very useful. If you added all of these, there will be 6 A1s, 6 A2s, 6 A3s, 6 A4s, 6 A5s, 6 A6s and 6 A7s. Wonderful. So hang on to that. So the sum of all of this will be 6 times A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus A5 plus A6 plus A7. Right? Which is nothing but 60 plus 58 plus 57 plus 56 plus 55 plus 54 plus one of these numbers whichever one is appearing a second time so brilliant so i'm going to add all of these numbers and so i'm going to do 60 58 57 56 55 54 4 plus 5 9 15 22 30 0 3 3 plus 6 9 14, 19, 24, 29, 34. If you added all of this, you'll get 340. 340 plus x equals 6 times a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 plus a6 plus a7. This is brilliant. Think about this. All of these are integers. So this side is a product of 6. So, 340 plus x should be a product of 6. Now think about this. 340 divided by 6 equals 5 times you will have 30. 46 times you will have 36. You have 4 remaining. This leaves a remainder of 4 on division by 6. Or x divided by 6 remainder should be 2. Only then we'll add 4 and 2 to get 6, which is nothing but a remainder of 0. Or the number that repeats should leave a remainder of 2 on division by 6, which is not 60, which is not 58. This leaves a remainder of 4, 3, 46. With that, we are done. 
or six times a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 plus a6 plus a7 six times the sum equals 340 plus 56 which is 396 or the sum is 396 by 6 which is 36 is 6 is 66 the sum of all of these numbers is 66 wonderful sum of some six of them is 60 all of them put together is 66 or the one that is missing out is 6 one that is missing out is 8 meeting out is 9 10 11 and 12 10 appears twice over 10 or the ages of the people of the seven people are 6 8 9 10 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 the ages of the seven people added together are 6 8 or they added together is 66 each of them the each of those ages are 6 8 9 10 10 11 and 12 the difference between the oldest person and the youngest person oldest is 12 youngest is 6 the difference is 12 minus 6 which is 6 brilliant question fine now we've done all this i want to find a very simple way of doing this question fine so we have the seven ages a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 i'm going to assume a1 less than a2 less than a3 less than a4 less than a5 less than a6 less than a7 if they can be arranged in some order not just less than less than or equal to because some two ages are same we know that okay. now think about this always working with the extreme numbers is very useful so some of the six smallest numbers if we add all of these what will you get it should be the smallest sum among these which is 54 now, if we added the six largest terms, the sum is 60. This is the sum of the six smallest ages. This is the sum of the six largest ages. You should see where I am getting here. If you subtracted one from the other, all of these will go away. A7 minus A1 is 6. The difference between the oldest person and the youngest person is 6. We need not have found the overall sum. We need not have found each of the ages. All we needed to do was plug in the oldest equation, the largest sum equation and the smallest sum equation and then subtract one from the other. You would have been through. Brilliant question. The difference between the oldest and youngest person is 6. The juicier method is quite obviously the second one. But if you had to find the seven ages than the previous method obviously is more robust.